James from James Brand UX and today I want to talk to you about how to get a dual screen Mac set up um, using uh, Mac OS X Big Sur uh, 11.2 we're running today um, using a Kensington Display Dock um, and also being able to enable the lid sleep function uh, on your Mac. So let's jump right in. First of all, what we're going to do is we want to make sure that we're going to have a right dock for this. So for example, if you have, uh, say, your Mac, um, and then you've got two other screens, what you want to do is make sure that you grab yourself a compatible dock. Um, so this could be a USB dock, it could be a USB-C dock. Uh, currently, we have a USB one using a USB-C adapter. What you want to do is make sure you have two monitors, make sure you've got the right connection, so you can have HDMI, DVI, um, VGA, entirely up to you. Um, make sure you get the right one with the right docks. Um, so I'll pop a link in the description for this one. What you want to make sure is once you get this delivered, um, plug the dock into your Mac, make sure it's got some power. Um, and then what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to head over to the Display Link website um, and make sure that you get the latest drivers for the Display Link Manager. So for example, we're using the Big Sur 11.0 edition, even though we're using 11.2. Please make sure that you do have the latest version um, of this driver, however, because the previous versions, there have been um, some known issues that have been patched, um, like black screens and things like that. So make sure that you have the right version. And what you're going to want to do, once you have this um, downloaded and installed, you'll notice that there is a display link manager at the top of your window. So if we pop on up to here, uh, if you click on the, the two little squares at the top, under the home, make sure that you launch this app automatically after logging in, and that'll make sure that as soon as you load, uh, load up your Mac, that you'll have the drivers and the displays automatically appearing for you. Once you have this, um, you may or may not want to shut the, the lid of your Mac down. So to do this, you can actually do it natively in uh, on Mac OS. You don't have to have any third-party plugins like Insomnia X. Or, um, but what you need to do is pop over to System Preferences, go to the Battery icon here. On Battery, go to Power Adapter, Make sure that this tick box will prevent computer from sleeping automatically when the display is off is ticked. Now this will um, no, this will reduce your battery life. Um, so please make sure, and if you are finished for the day with your Mac, make sure you turn it off just to prevent it from overheating um, because this setting does dramatically reduce battery life and can cause overheating um, if you leave it on and leave your Mac constantly running. So once you have this enabled, um, you'll be able to Pop your lid down uh, and you'll have just the two screens present. Now you can also rearrange the screen order that you want. So for example, if I've got the big screen that I'm working on now as my primary screen, I'm gonna go back to system preferences, displays, um, and if you hit arrangement on here, you'll be able to see three screens. So I've got my Mac screen on the left, my main sort of larger screen in the middle and the slightly smaller screen to my right. In my current setup, you can rearrange these any way you like and that will automatically adjust where they sit on your screen. And that's it. So hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. Please make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. We'll make sure we post a link in the description for the display link website and also the Kensington dock. And we'll also recommend some links for some uh, really good screens that we're using at the moment. Um, and yeah, thank you very much for joining. Um, please like and subscribe and we will see you on the next video.